together in prayer. So let's do that right now. Let us quiet our hearts as we come before our Lord in prayer. God of love, thank you for being with us. Thank you for what you have done. Thank you for Passion Week, a time we can reflect on the pain of rejection and agony that you experienced on the cross for each one of us. And finally, being able to celebrate your victory over death. Hear our prayers, O oh God, for all of the churches around the world adjusting to COVID and grieving losses. May your people be nourished by your presence in the world. That all of our clergy and our missionaries, our church leaders and volunteers would be strengthened for their tasks of ministry in our distressed world. For all of those who are assisting the digital sharing of worship, for guidance in keeping this Holy Week in fervent prayer and praise. Almighty God, we pray for all elected leaders that they see the needs of this crisis and make wise judgments. And we pray for wisdom for them as they distribute aid to those who need it. Comforting Father, we pray for your people facing the coronavirus around the world. For those who are grieving their dead. For the sick and their families. For those who are so fearful of an unknown future. For the millions of unemployed. For the children at home for hospitals and they're in their desperate need for supplies. Compassionate Father, we pray to you for those whose needs we know and for those whose needs are hidden. For those with illnesses whose treatments have had to be postponed. For those who are homeless, for all who are sick. Lord, we pray for our families and our friends and those near and dear to us right here at Knox. We pray for those who are mourning. This morning we lift up Carol, mourning the death of Derek. Surround her with your peace and comfort. We pray for our people at home on palliative care, for our people in hospital, for our seniors alone in their apartments. And we pray for all of our people who are providing care. We pray for our staff and our church workers. And we pray for those who are right now working on our New Roads project. Father, there are so many needs out there that you know about and we do not personal needs and concerns of all your people. Bless each one of them with the knowledge that they are not alone and they do not need to be afraid. Merciful God, as we remember and celebrate Palm Sunday and Holy Week, accompany us on our journey. Help us to remember what you have done for us once and for all time in dying a cruel death on the cross for our sins so that we could be reconciled to our Father in heaven. We praise you and bless you for that unconditional and loving gift. And church, I invite you to say with me aloud right now the wonderful prayer that Jesus himself has taught us to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and lead us and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. People, may the grace of Christ attend us, the love of Christ surround us, and the Holy Spirit keep us.